Father, I confess what I want is my heart to be made whole and my life to be integrated. I confess that I want the freedom and the restoration of my strength through the integration of the whole person. And I invite you to do it. I invite you to partner with me to become a man who astonishes you because we are united in love. And I learned to do nothing apart from you. And Father, I agree with your relentless love, your relentless pursuit, that you will stop at nothing. You will stop at nothing to continue to open the doorway to invite me home. For me to give access to you, to the whole man, to be made whole and holy. So, Father, I confess the parts of me that have yet to yield to you, that are resistant, and I give you the shame and the fear and the disappointment and the hurt. I give you my belief in life being found in self-determination and self-reliance, and I say your love is greater still, that your love is stronger than death, and I ask that you would shine your light You would expose every place in me that has yet to come home to you as my good Father. Jesus, Holy Spirit, Father, I receive you afresh today in your inextinguishable life. I receive your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in the kingdom of heaven. I arise once again to trust you in your mighty strength, uniting my heart with your heart. Jesus, I ask that you would break every limit that I've placed on who you can be, what you can do, and how you can do it. I ask for your forgiveness for those limits, and I say break them in your power and in your name. I say in that place, I am rooted and established in your love. It is infinite, ever-present, and always flowing. Father, I just name that you care about me that I matter to you, that you are the one who sees me. And I say, I say it out loud, you are the one who sees me. And I have seen the one who sees me. I name you as the one who sees me. So I receive you afresh in this place. I ask that you would make me good soil. I say I want more. I ask that you would dismantle the self-promotion, self-protection, self-reliance. That you would dismantle the self. And you would restore the true man, making me whole and holy by your love, giving you permission to my body, my soul, and my spirit. I receive your inheritance. You have given me unlimited resources. That is my inheritance and I claim it, I receive it and I ask that you would help me to access it more. Your favor, your life, to accept it and receive it through your death, your resurrection and your ascension. I choose union with you. Forgive me for trying to arrange so many things to feel good, arranging circumstances. You alone are contentment. And so I choose you to be my place of contentment. And I choose to receive that smile of the Holy Spirit to say, you alone bring true joy. So I receive you, Holy Spirit, afresh today. Your breath, you're the wild one. You want to partner with me. You know what I need. You're my counselor, comforter. You're my strength. You're my guide. So I choose you, Holy Spirit. I ask that you would increase my awareness to sense your moving, your leadership. Show me how to move. Give me the feet, the shoes of readiness of the gospel of peace so that I can move and step with you. Your pace, your rhythm, your way. And Holy Spirit, I believe that you usher in this mothering that I so deeply need or that you alone can nourish me to fullness of this robust well-being. You alone, through mothering me, can make me feel safe and love to feel 10 feet tall and bursting with joy. I want that, Holy Spirit. So would you mother me in new ways? 
I confess you're good at mothering. I want to know and believe that I am loved because I am yours. I am worthy of love and belonging. Father, I confess that I still resist you. I still resist you hiding as an orphan and a slave, and I want to come home to you. And so today afresh, Father, I ask that I could come home to you, home to your love, home to your generosity, home to your abundance, home to your provision, home to your protection. Father, all that I am in union with all that you are, and I do it through the life of Jesus Christ. Jesus, I receive you as my brother, as my savior, as the doorway, the pathway, your life spent so that I could have life. Through you, my old man is given to death and death rises to new life. So I rise with you, Jesus, your unstoppable life and strength and force. Jesus, you have my yes, validate me. I receive my name from you, my place in the kingdom, my inheritance through you, Jesus. And God, in that place, I just confess all the sophisticated ways I have created a life to protect me from engaging in true relationship. All the ways I've sophisticatedly protected and arranged to disengage from relationship in ways that I move against people, in ways that I move away from people and move towards people, all searching for validation, searching for love. I ask that you would dismantle all of it in me, God. You would restore my style of relating and you would restore my relating with you, that I would see you move and walk, that you would cultivate a love language with me more deeply than ever before, that I would just find myself laughing because you know me, This is our moment, just us. I hold a part of your heart no one does, God, and you hold a part of mine. Can we cultivate an acquaintance? I confess that I need to live more deeply in a habitat that allows my soul to thrive. And so to cultivate that acquaintance, I know there's unfinished business here. And so I give you the habitat of my life and I ask that you would bring it in alignment with the habitat that's right for my soul. Unforced rhythms and grace, learning to live freely and lightly, putting down everything that is heavy laden and everything that is ill-fitting, that doesn't fit me. And help me to be comfortable in my own skin. And help me to like me as you like me. Restore my soul. Integrate the whole man, God. I give you permission. I pray that you would cultivate the habits that are necessary so that I can be available to receive that which I can't arrange for. What do I need to abstain from? And what do I need to engage in? Teach me. I'm your student. Let's try it on and try it out. Let's practice. Let's blunder around and allow me not to go to shame or self-reproach try it on and be a student. I want to be a student and I want to be a son. And so I name that over my life, God, student and son. As you restore my true self, restoring my true self from the inside out, I consecrate my motives to you. I consecrate my beliefs to you. And I say I choose to adopt a worldview that is steeped and seated on wisdom and not simply gifting and just the spirit of the age, but wisdom, the deep uncalls to deep, that I partner with wisdom that you set as the craftsman at your right hand that is at the fabric of all of creation. And you say, he who finds wisdom finds life, and I ask for wisdom because I need life. God, I stand with you against my enemies against every scheme that's been set against me as a man, against my masculinity, against my masculine line, I say it stops with me. In the authority of Jesus Christ, I say no. I take my stand with you and I say it stops with me in the authority of Jesus Christ. 
And I ask for you to begin a new work in me, to establish a new legacy, a new generation, to restore what you originally intended since before creation. Show me the warfare set against me. And in your authority, I stand against it. I choose against it by your power and through your life. And Jesus, in that, the spirit of the age, I confess how much I've agreed with a distracted life, with this temporary atheism, where so often I find myself simply living apart from you. Lord, you never give any man too much to do. And so I ask for your forgiveness for every place I find myself feeling overwhelmed and alone. I break every agreement I've made with drivenness and hurriedness and busyness. And I ask in its place that you would give me intimacy, that you would cultivate acquaintance, give me intimacy with you. Father, I ask for every way that I have elevated myself in a kingly realm and way that was beyond what you've entrusted to my care. I ask for your forgiveness. And Father, I just give you access to sort it all out. Sort it all out. And Jesus, I ask that you would heal my heart in the traumatized places for where I have been set as a king by uninitiated men, where I've been maimed and harmed and used and abused. I forgive them, for they know not what they do. I release them and bless them. And I say, you have your way with them, God. I ask that you would heal my heart in those places and help me restore the false conclusions I've come to about my life and calling because of the pain and the hurt and the violation. Father, I ask that you would dismantle every shortcut that I have willfully chosen. I pray that you would reveal again the shortcuts I've taken, I've chosen. I pray that you would dismantle them and I choose the long, holy, in narrow road that you have for me that is truly life. I want to be your apprentice, God. You are accepting master students, and I say yes. I want to work with you. I want to watch how you do it. I'm signing up. Show me how to grow in fierce mastery over all of it, the fullness of my domain. I pray that you would right-size it, shrink it where it needs to shrink, and help me with my body, with my soul, spirit, with my imagination, with my mind. I give all of my kingdom to all of you. I bring it back under the rule and reign of Jesus, every piece of it. I ask for your blood to wash it, and for your anointing to come. And I'm asking for your favor over my kingdom. I set it apart for your life. And Father, I just ask for forgiveness. I've played it safe in a lot of ways that I haven't risked. I haven't risked love because I've been fearful. Help me exercise risking, risking love, risking courage, risking generosity, Meet me in this frontier. I want to trust you more. And I believe that you want to increase the stakes. And this is my practice. I ask for your forgiveness for every way I have agreed with a spirit of false comparison with other men and had jealousy and envy and want of their life. I confess the only life that is worth living is my life in you. Father, forgive me for comparing part of my life with part of his life. I release him. I bless him. And I cut off every judgment, every value that I have made, every way I've cursed inadvertently. I ask for your forgiveness. And I bring blessing in the place of cursing. I choose in the heavenlies with my will to cause good on behalf of those men. And I own my life, my story, you as author, me as participant and partner and friend. Father, I invite you into all of my suffering, all of my suffering. You're the only person that can handle it. And you can handle it. So I invite you into it. I ask that you would make something beautiful come out of it. I ask that you would show me 
what to do with it, that you would make it worth it, Jesus, that you would tell me that it matters to you, all of it, and that you're not far off, that you're moving towards me. Jesus, would you show me how to rest and play? Would you show me how to receive love? There's places in me that just avoid it and fear it. Show me how to receive. Show me how to play. Show me how to become the kind of person that my kids or future kids would one day be able to say, he was playful. He was so fun to be with. Take off the burden. Lift the burden. Father, I give you all of my relationships my marriage, future marriage, my kids, future kids, my friendships, I give it all to you. And in the area of marriage, I give you my dreams and my dilemmas. And I'm asking that you would simply breathe life into the here and now. You would show me what needs to be done. You would help me come to the center. And you would give me your heart for her. Father, at every one of those junctures, that it's going sideways. I pray that you would help me to be mindful to simply turn again to you and say, give me your heart for her. Give me your heart for her. I pray that you would help me believe that you are my defender. I have no need to defend myself. I ask that you would heal my marriage, restore my marriage, and I pray that you would bring my wife onto the same parallel journey as a woman. And as a bride, only you can do that and only you can orchestrate it. I give you my marriage. I trust you with the pain. And I ask for a miracle today, a miracle. I agree that she's the one you chose for me and you don't make mistakes. So I break every agreement I made around an alternative path. And I receive her again in love. I renew my heart for her because of you. Father, I give you my children. I give you what I've missed of their hearts. I give you the hours I've missed and the days I've missed. And I stay in your love where you say love covers a multitude of sins. I'm banking on it, Jesus. I'm banking on it. And I believe that the only way I become the kind of parent I want to be is through parenting. And so I receive grace for myself as a parent. And I pray that you would teach me how to be present. You would work my schedule supernaturally, flowing out of my beliefs to give them more of my time and also out of my beliefs, more of my heart, that you would help me be present to the regular day-to-day moments where you are asking me to bring them into deeper realities and wonder of the kingdom of God, that I would model a larger story, bigger than anything they find, and that I would give them access to you, Father, that we would turn and they would see my modeling of turning to you, the unlimited resources. I don't have to have it figured out, God. I confess all the pressure I put on myself to have it figured out. And I pray, God, that you would help me bring them deeper into the kingdom of God to know your heart. I confess that these are the hidden years, and I give you permission to hide me in the ways you want to hide me. Only you can figure that out, and only you can resolve that. But I ask that you would clarify and consecrate my yes. Help me understand what it is that I am to say yes to and who it is I am to say yes to. Help me establish my yes and amen as it is in the kingdom of heaven so that I can have confidence to say no to everything and everyone that's a no from you. Help me discern. Help me walk in that, Father. I pray for peer relationships. I ask God that you would give me one, you give me two, that you would help me see like-hearted kings that want what I want, have to fight through the same stuff to get it. Help me fight for those. Show me where I need to sacrifice more. 
pour your robust life into those relationships. Give us shared mission so that we can lock arms and move towards something larger as a context to dive deeper into the restoration of our hearts together. Give me a few. I believe that it's your idea, it's your design, it's your desire, and it's my destiny. So would you bring me those men? Father, would you bring me the peers? Would you bring me the mentors? Would you bring me the men? Would you order my expression of the body of Christ, my community, my story, that I would own my life and I would cast off every other story. Release it. Release it. Release it. I own my life. Father, the same love that you have for your son Jesus is the love that you give to me, is the love that you offer me. And so I receive it today. I receive it with confidence. I receive it with joy, with expectation. I receive your love afresh today. And so I put on the armor afresh today as your son, the armor of God, shoes of the gospel of peace where I can move and step with your spirit, a belt of truth whereby I love the things you love and I hate the things you hate, a breastplate of righteousness whereby I choose what you choose and I refuse what you refuse. I put on the helmet of salvation where my hope is seated and established in the kingdom to come, in the place that you have carved out for me. My hope is in the intervention of heaven today. I take up the sword of the Spirit that you would arm me with the word of God, the shield of faith, where I am sure of what I hope for and certain of all that I do not see. I put it on. I am your son, and I say, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I choose you today. I invite you into this decade. I invite you to shape it, to lead it, and guide it. Father me, apprentice me in your kingdom. I am an unfinished man, but I choose today to give all of me to all of you. I accept your acceptance of me, I choose to live in the present moment. I ask for a wise and discerning heart. I unite my heart with your heart. I choose to listen to your voice. I receive your peace that passes understanding. I receive your courage. I receive your strength. I receive your joy. I love you. I trust you. I choose to become good soil. You have my yes. You have my yes. Amen. Our great God and our Savior, our great God and our Savior, our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, filled will amazing grace, seeking each day with the yearning heart for those who would trust Him and seek His face swift to give love and complete forgiveness for transgressions done in the past and offer up a so great salvation that will eternally last. No half measure in His undertaking for our life He gave of His own and procured for us a complete redemption for for our sin He atoned and wrought us a righteousness from heaven itself. How worthy is the Lamb who has the power to change every heart who calls upon His name. Don't leave off of knowing him who can become your closest friend for he who can consume your sin of the past, can give you grace to go forward again. To God be the glory. Glory hallelujah. Praise God salvation has come. Repenting of sin and turning to God is how faith's transaction is done. A done deal. Oh hallelujah. To be saved and to know it. Amen. Exclamation mark asking the Lord to forgive you of sin is really where it begins my friend. Your new chapter of life now. Hallelujah. Will have everything to do with the Son. Why do I say this my brother? Exclamation mark for the Lord Jesus Christ is the soul saving one. Exclamation mark the angels record you faith's transaction where your name's written in the book of life a permanent proof of God's satisfaction with the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ what a joy to look forward to which sustains us every day. Though once we were lost, sunk in the mire of sin, now Lord Jesus has become our stay. O oh, adorable Lord and Savior Jesus Christ dying on the gallows tree for our sins, O oh, Holy Cross of Jesus see me in my thoughts, O oh, Holy Cross of Jesus ward off from me all weapons of danger, O oh, Holy Cross of Jesus ward off from me all that are evil, O oh, Holy Cross of Jesus protect me from my enemies, O oh, Holy Cross of Jesus ward off from me a dangerous death, 
and give always life. O crucified Jesus of Nazareth, have mercy on me now and for